In this video, we are going to install Microsoft Pommel with Olama with a hands-on example on a real-world use case. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. Before I show you the installation and the hands-on example, let's try to understand which problem this Pommel is trying to solve. Pommel or Prompt Orchestration Markup Language from Microsoft is like HTML for AI prompts. Just like HTML helps structure web pages, Pommel helps you organize and manage the instructions you give to AI models or other AI tooling in a clean, reusable and powerful way. When people write prompts for AI, they often just type plain text. But as AI apps get more complex, more multimodal, this becomes messy and hard to manage. For example, how do you include images, tables or files in your prompt in a structured pattern? How do you reuse the same prompt structure across different projects? How do you make prompts that change based on data like user input? And how do you keep your prompt organized when it has many parts like role, task, example, formatting rule, and I'm talking mainly from the point of view of AI agents, maybe working with MCP tools or A2A, and there are a lot of other frameworks. So this is where Pommel is trying to help out. Pommel is trying to solve this with uh, labeled parts in a structured way. So you can see, for example, on your screen in this example, in this markup language, Pommel has defined this prompt which is clear reusable and easy to read just like lego block so you have role so what you want your model to do then you have a task for it you can embed images video audio or whatever and then we are also giving it output format which we want now still i believe this is a bit hard to understand so i am going to now install it and show you in real example how exactly this works so let's get it installed i'm going to use this ubuntu system and as i will be using local models so i have gpu card which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram by the way you can use it with any model out there it is model agnostic if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very good prices you can find the link to master compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus I already have Olama installed and if you don't know what Olama is, just search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos. I will quickly show you my Olama model. So I am running this. Um, there are three models. So I'm just going to use this vision model because I also want to include an image in my prompt. So I'm going, just going to go with this JAMA 3 27 billion model in a quantized format. It's already there. And if you don't have it, just do Olama pull, Jamma 3 colon 27 billion. Okay, so that is done. Next up, we need to install Pommel. Now, in order to install Pommel, I would highly, highly suggest use this um, nightly upgrade because if you just install pip install Pommel, that might not really work because there are a lot of breaking changes which are happening. So uh, make sure that you install it from the nightly patch. So that is already done let's clear it now let me quickly show you an example so let me go here so this is an actual uh, pommel file which i'm going to use with a local image now the idea here is that i'm going to provide the olama based model this image and then i want my model to act uh, as an ai which is a friendly science teacher so you see the role I am giving to AI is that you are a friendly science teacher for 10 year olds. And then I am asking it to do this task to explain what photosynthesis is using the image provided. And this is the image which I just showed you on my local system, all AI generated by the way. And then I want it to give me the output in this format, like keep it simple fun and all that stuff and also start with this so you see i am primarily controlling the output whatever i want and this makes it so so good so i'm very uh, happy to find this tool because normally i am not much of a fan of prompt 
engineering so called there is nothing engineering about it to be honest it so some people have made it such a big deal um that prompt engineers is a role it's not a job it's not a job role by the way anyway so writing a prompt uh, is f- maybe a skill but not some rocket science but if you write it like this i think then it becomes bit of a skill and you can even write it through another model anyway i digress so this is pomel for you role task output with multi modality and this is a script which i am using where i am calling that pomel so i am importing that pomel and then i am getting that markup this is a markup language which i have just defined and then the format and then i am giving it to my model and then uh, the model is accessing it so this is the image which i am giving it to the pomel file and then it is going to print it out so i'll just scroll down this is where i am accessing olama and this is my gamma 3 model okay so let's run this to see what happens i'm just going to say app.py let's wait for it there you go so you see it is acting as a friendly science teacher explaining photosynthesis to 10 year old using a diagram as a visual context i'll just go up to show you so this is a dictionary it has produced and then this is a final prompt which was sent so the pomel file has clearly defined the role task image input and output format ensuring that the ai delivered a simple engaging and emoji rich explanation starting with hey dear future scientist so this is what we wanted to say and then <clears throat> primarily if you look at this pomel is helping by or- organizing these elements in a clean reusable format which makes it really easy to manage the prompt structure embed the image and enforce style rules all while keeping the logic separate from presentation and this modularity ensures consistency and makes it really simple to adapt the prompt for other topics or audience and let me show you now another example so for another example let me first show you the image which i am going to use this is another ai generated image uh, from my another video now this is i made and you can already tell that it is inspired by a very famous movie now i'm asking it that your role is that you are a visionary movie producer with a passion for dark stylish dialogue driven films inspired by quentin tarantino so who was the producer of the actual movie and then the task is to generate a movie plot based on the provided image and story should be original cinematic and all that stuff then i'm giving it this image and this should be the format like 300 words start with title include this 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 and this so i'm controlling the output and again similarly same thing um, i am providing it to the uh, same sort of app.py so it is very modular you can simply use it like that okay so let's run this and i am going to just run it in front of you it is we will see how exactly it performs there you go and it is going it is checking still image was encoded and there you go so let me go up so you see it has started with this title so in this one pomel has guided the ai to become a visionary movie producer and drawing inspiration from that image which i showed you and the structured prompt to find a cinematic role requested a creative plot and model has done exactly that to generate professional quality creative ideas reliably and repeatedly turning a single image into a compelling film concept with minimal effort so hopefully you now appreciate uh, what exactly is happening here in pomel so i think maybe this is the first prompt related tool which i like in a long time so try it out let me know what do you think i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel camel is an open source community focused on building multi agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation